welcome back to my channel. I know I've been pretty MIA lately, but I promise I'm going to get back into the swing of things. So, to start off, I'm going to start with a what's in my Kavu bag. I got my Kavu bag for my birthday a couple weeks ago. So, I figured I would show you all the stuff that I keep inside of it. So, the pattern is the pink flamingo. So, it's got all these really pretty, like, neon pink flamingos. Um, and then it's got, like, the mint colored um, seams and zippers and all that stuff. So that is what the pattern looks like. And then the kavu bag is a sling bag, so you can sling it across your body. Super handy, super nice to have all your hands free. Um, not have to worry about purse straps falling off your shoulder or anything. It's just nice to sling it around, get what I need out, and sling it back. So there are five pockets on the kavu. Um, there are two big zipper pockets that I will show you once I take stuff out of. There's a smaller zipper pocket inside the bigger big zipper. And then there is a little zipper pocket on the front and then there is also a little velcro flap i'm gonna start off with showing you what's in the big zipper pocket so in the big zipper it has got this giant amount of space it's crazy how much stuff i can put in here um and then you can see the little zipper on the back side that is also mint colored and the inside is hot pink which i love so let's start off with what's in the big zipper. So first thing I pull out is this Trident resealable gum in peppermint. There is that. Next we've got my little Target pouch that I got. It's really pretty blue with like a gold and pink um, triangle design. And it's got two zippers and it's from the brand Contents. It was $9.99 at Target. Um, so in here, I just keep some essentials. So one side's got more like first aid type essentials and then the other side has got more like makeup-y kind of stuff. So in my first aid essentials pocket, we've got a pack of tissues because I normally carry around tissues, especially if I'm sick. Even when I'm not sick, you never know who might need a tissue. But I especially keep them around when I'm sick because sometimes you can't find a tissue and toilet paper is not always the best. So tissues are nice to have and it's got this cute little sea otter pattern they're finding dory tissues um and then i've got some lens cleaners because sometimes i forget to clean my glasses before i leave my house so it's always nice to be able to have clean glasses and be able to actually see through them so these are zeiss i think is how you pronounce it they're just lens cleaning wipes we bought a pack of 200 at sam's club so we've got a ton of those um, then I've got my oil absorbing sheets because my face is like combination, but I have spots of my face that get really oily. So I always need to have something to take that oil away. So I'm not so shiny. So these are just the Equate Beauty from Walmart. It was cheaper than the clean and clear ones. And there's also more than the clean and clear. So I got these, they're super helpful. And what's cool about them is when you open it, there's an adhesive on the top so that you can just peel it off and then you can close it and it will attach the next one. So next in the pouch, we've got my little first aid kit, which is just like a first aid kit box that had like writing on it that I just designed with some washi paper. So this holds all my band-aids. It's got a few like alcohol wipes and antiseptic in it. And it's also got like the little first aid paperwork that comes in the little pocket first aid kits and right now I have frozen band-aids in here because I'm a child despite being 22 years old and I don't like plain band-aids I like pattern band-aids then I've got a little travel pack of Advil because you never know when you're gonna need pain relievers for lady problems or headaches or whatever or if anyone else you know needs pain relievers it's always nice to have some on hand then I've got this little Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing uh, Lip Balm. It deeply moisturizes to protect chapped dry lips. And then lastly, I've just got a pen because sometimes waiters don't give you a pen to sign checks or you might need a pen for whatever reason. So it's always nice to have a pen on hand. So that is all of what's in the essentials pocket of my little pouch. So now we'll move on to the make a B side starting off nail file never know when you're gonna need a nail file 
I work in retail and I have decently long nails and sometimes my nails get chipped or broken so it's always nice to have a nail file on hand so I'm not biting my nails down to a nub. This I got in my influencer box recently. It is a Nature's Origin Aromatherapy Lavender Essential Oil Blend Roll-On. It smells amazing, obviously. Lavender smells really good. Um, so it's just in this little tube and it's got a roll-on top. So that's what's in there as well. Then we've got this little Makeup Forever mascara that I got in one of my Sephora birthday gifts. It's the Smoky Extravagant Dramatic Impact and Graphic Precision Mascara. Then last thing I've got is this Shea Butter Melon Forever Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. It smells super yummy. Nice and watermelony and all that jazz. But I keep this on hand because this is going to sound really weird, but when I wash my hands with soap like at a bathroom or whatever, my hands dry out, so it's always nice to have hand cream on hand so I don't walk around with dry hands because dry hands is gross. So that's what I've got in my little makeup -y essentials side of my little Target pouch. Next is going to be my wallet. This is the Kate Spade, I think it's the Stacy wallet. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but it just opens up and it's got card slots on this side and then card slots on that side. Um, then it's got the little pockets for you to put receipts or coupons or whatever you want to put in there. It's got this gorgeous floral design. Um, I got that on sale at the outlet after Christmas because that's the only way I buy my Kate Spades is on sale. Then I've got a brush, portable brush. It's foldable and it's got a little mirror, which is super helpful because you never know when the wind is going to destroy your hair. So it's always nice to have a brush handy. Next is this super old Victoria's Secret pouch that I got as like a free gift one day. Um, and this just holds my coupons. Um, I've got food coupons and Bed Bath & Beyond. There's a coupon in here for a free mascara sample from Ulta that I got for my birthday. Um, so yeah, I just keep all my coupons in here because you never know when you're gonna go try that new food place you wanted to and you're like, oh, I have a coupon. Wait, it's at home, I forgot it. But you're already there, so. All my coupons are in here and they're always in my bag so I never forget them. And then this last pocket that's on the inside, this little zipper, has just got lady products. So let me put all this junk back in here and then I will show you what's in the other pockets of my Kavu. In the next pocket, it's this other equally long side pocket. This currently just holds my umbrella. I always carry my umbrella with me, especially because recently the weather in Georgia has gone super crazy and will rain and then it won't rain and then it won't look like it's gonna rain and then suddenly it starts pouring. So, always handy to have an umbrella because you never know what the weather's gonna do. And it's open and shut with the button, which is so nice, especially when I'm coming out of classes or going into classes. It's always nice to just be able to quick push the button pull it down fully and wrap it up and then we're gonna go um and it's by totes i got it from walmart and it's a super pretty like green and pink and orange and purple like floral pattern and what's super cool about this umbrella is it's got the never wet technology so what it means is that the rain droplets they don't like soak into the material like most umbrellas and like create a soppy dripping mess everywhere. What it does is the water droplets like stay in droplets and they just roll off the umbrella. So it's super easy to like shake it off and close it and bring it into a classroom or a store or something, not worry about having to drip water everywhere, possibly making someone slip and fall. So it's nice to have that technology on it. So that's normally what I just keep in this other big pocket. And then this bottom zipper pocket doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Um, it's just a really big pocket, but I normally just keep my phone in there, especially when I'm at work. It's just a super quick, easy pocket to just slide it into. Um, this pocket is actually really roomy. Um, we went to 4th of July festivities the other day, and I managed to fit a charging block that's about this thick. My phone a small like iPhone cord and then my headphones all managed to fit in this teeny tiny what seems like a teeny tiny pocket it's not a teeny tiny pocket trust me um and then lastly in this little zipper pocket I just keep my key fob 
it's got my Alabama key wristlet and then I've just got my rewards cards my free frosty card I've got a keychain from Jamaica that one of my managers brought back from her trip and then I've also got my little Minnie Mouse house key so that normally just stays in this front pocket of my Kavu and I normally just let the key fob hang out because it doesn't quite fit in the pocket so I just let the wristlet part just kind of hang out of the bag and then sometimes I will hang um, I've got a Contigo water bottle and it's got the like belt clip and I will hook it onto the, the bag so it's another hands-free way to hold my water bottle that is my what's in my Kavu bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have some ideas of some other stuff you'd like me to do, comment down below. I'm going to do a what's in my backpack video in the next couple weeks when I get ready for back to school. I don't start college until about two weeks after the normal school districts go back. So I'll have some more time to get um, school supplies and all that stuff for a video for you guys. And then I'll also probably be doing an outfit of the week for my first day of classes along with a... July favorites and also probably a back to school haul with all the stuff that I get. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day guys. Bye.